Hi, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the uh, the ONTAP TV mini guide and uh, just a quick overview of channel surfing as well. Um, uh, an important part of the mini guide which, which, which you can use is uh, a hotkey. Now the hotkey is a button you can uh, if you've got the right sort of remote control you can program a button on that to uh, activate the mini guide uh, anywhere in Kodi so you don't have to be inside on tap to uh, check the listings or even to to stream a channel uh, so um, I thought I'd show you how to set that up it's pretty simple anyway but it's worth showing it there's also uh, another hotkey for full screen video toggling which I'll show you as well. Um, so to set up a hotkey, um, you just literally click on these options. I've actually set one up already, but I'm going to reset that. So just to show you what that does, it just it will basically remove the hotkey you've programmed on the remote control and um, allow you to uh, change it to a different key. This is also handy if you've chosen a button you didn't really want to use by mistake so you can come back and reset it and uh, try again now the important thing to remember with hotkeys is the remote you use has to have a spare button that you don't use for any other kind of uh, navigation or usage in Kodi so for instance you wouldn't choose to program your menu button or your you know your play stop fast forward rewind buttons because they're used elsewhere uh, you don't want to override them because that would just cause you issues so it, it does need to be like a spare button on the remote um, unfortunately for like remotes that are very simple like the the fire tv remote is is very limited in its spare buttons in fact i don't think it's got any so unfortunately if you've got that kind of um remote control then you probably won't be able to use this feature I'm afraid but for other remotes this is the kind of thing you can do so you need to first program in the hotkey so if you select this is in the uh, sorry this is in the the EPG settings so you um, just bring that up just highlight the add-on and use the uh, menu button to bring up the add-on settings and you can then eventually get to this window it's under the more features tab of the EPG settings so first of all I click set mini guide hotkey then this window will pop up you get 10 seconds to then press another button and that will be the button it remembers to use for the mini guide so I've pressed my button I'm on a keyboard but it could be a remote control so it's successfully recorded that key press and remembered it so that's the mini guide hotkey set up same thing for the full screen toggle obviously you choose a different button for that if you want to use this feature which I'll show you uh, once I've got it all set up so same thing select set up the hotkey got 10 seconds to press a button that's done so that's setting up the hotkeys now the mini guide is, as I say, it's just a feature where you can be outside of ONTAP completely. So you can be anywhere in Kodi, um, even in the main home menu like, like I am now. So if I press that button that I recorded, um, it will bring up this, this mini guide. So this is now showing me the listings from ONTAP TV um, all 584 channels um, as a list that you can then scroll through also on a remote if you've got like a channel up channel down uh, buttons they actually act as page up and page down in when you're in the mini guide so it'll actually jump if you see I'm jumping 10 channels at a time there um, to make it quicker to sort of scroll through all the channels also if you <coughs> have set up categories 
inside the EPG. So if you've only got, say, the movies category highlighted, when you press the hotkey for the mini guide, it will remember what categories you had set up, uh, turned on at that point in time. And they're, they're the only ones that will show uh, when you're scrolling up and down. So that, again, will actually re reduce the amount of channels you have to scroll through to get to channels. <clears throat> so once you're in the mini guide, as well as looking at what's on, you can obviously um, actually watch these these channels. So if I <clears throat> if I click on BBC Two and I want to watch Gardener's World at that point in time, if I actually then click OK, it will actually open the channel and well, start streaming. To the National Botanic Garden in Singapore, which of course. So that's quite handy. Um, I mean, you could be actually anywhere. I mean, <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe you, you could be I don't know, watching a movie, and um, you might think to yourself, "Well, I've, you might be missing a program that you wanted to watch. You want to check when it was on." So, like, I'm in the middle of the movie. If I bring up the mini guide. <clears throat> um, I can again check what's on, or I can even <coughs> select the channel and it will stop the movie and uh, Our Queen at night put the live TV the channel movie. on. So it actually switches you over to, to what you want to watch, whether that's handy or not. I don't know, I think that might come in handy sometimes. Again, it's just to show that you can actually open it wherever you are in the mini guide. Um, uh, sorry, in Cody. The other thing to add to this is I just want to show you a bit more about channel surfing, which is sort of slightly related. Again, it's just I wanted to show you different ways to um, to navigate the EPG or when you're actually watching a watching a stream. Um, I showed in another video how to use categories. Uh, you also obviously got your bog standard scrolling up and down or use the channel up and down buttons i.e. page up and down to get around the EPG but you also notice on the left there there's channel numbers next to each channel and you can sort of channel surf to get you straight to a channel number that you that you want to get to quickly so say I want to get to channel 90 if I start typing the numbers Nine zero, and then click OK. It will jump straight to that channel. Um, same as when you're watching a channel as well. If I go back to channel one, and I start watching BBC One again. If I if I type a number. stop talking there while that was playing enough I hope that made sense basically I was typing numbers while I was watching the channel and then it will um, bring up the mini guide and flick you straight to that channel so you can switch uh, also if if I watch BBC two quickly Around the corner, we're here to bring you an Easter. Then switch drink. to BBC so One. Put down those chocolate eggs and your Easter bus. If you then press the left key. Been sleeping bag all of the weekend, Alan. Don't worry, Joyce. Maureen will fix you. Maureen, dig out some of your clothes for Joyce. You can flick back to New campaign. the last channel you watched. So what I did there was I pressed the left key to go back to the previous channel I was watching. Um, so that's really it just a, another quick video showing the mini guide and uh, channel surfing actually I need to show you the the other hotkey so let me go back to watching a channel I'm going to turn the sound 
down on my Mac so it doesn't obliterate what I'm saying yeah the other hotkey was the toggle full screen so that feature is just <clears throat> if you're watching a channel that button I programmed for the toggle full screen if I press it it does that <clears throat> so it reduces the, the playing video down to the corner and then you can carry on looking through the EPG so it's like another way of um, checking what's on so as opposed to the mini guide this will give you sort of a, a more I suppose a more traditional way of looking at it compared to sort of some set top boxes and if you press the toggle key again um, if I keep pressing it you see it's it will reduce and enlarge the playing stream so that's that toggle button uh, again that's quite handy uh, all just one click away so uh, that's all of that I'm going to show in this video hopefully that was helpful and thanks for watching <laughs>